Hello everybody, welcome to another Mango video. It is a new week and I'm trying a deck that I always wanted to try. That is uh, Rakdos in Modern featuring three Liliana for Season Pyromancer. This deck comes from the Aspiring Spike idea of playing, uh, you know, those uh, very many three drops, but it takes out from the Jund Saga van with like an impossible mana base. It puts it into a Rakdos shell that has 24 lands, which are very many, very many lands, 24. But this deck does need to hit the third land drop every game. So similar to the Rhinos deck, you want to play 24 lands and no card selection, so no bubble, no channeler, uh, so that you only have uh, high impactful cards like the Season Pyromancer, the Liliana, Turak, four in the 75. I think Turak to be an amazing card in, uh, in Modern. Uh, three crooks uh, which is a little bit harder to uh, trigger than something like Rixie Shadow with the uh, with the flyer with the one three flyer because you do have seven disc or spell but you don't only have eight you don't have bubble you don't have channeler so uh, still crooks is obviously a fine threat on its own and you can discard it with Leon of the Veil so there is a little bit of value there playing three terminates one dreadbore dreadbore is nice to kill the random six there's no unholy heat in this list push we got Void, Dusty Void Walker, which is an interesting card. Um, dice to removal, so that's not that exciting, but it's like main the hate piece, and uh, that's that's not a bad thing to have in modern right, right now. Or decks with like living end, there's probably a tier one like Is it Merktide and such. This card not a great against Is it Merktide, but you'll see that uh, it's 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 a good card. I'll, I'll say you'll see because I'm already two zero in this league. I did a coaching session and I was playing uh, this deck. Um, I will add those video at the end of the of the of the YouTube recording. Uh, it won't have the camera, but it will still have commentary. Um, it's a new experiment. We'll see how it works. But for now, I'm streaming the last three matches and then I'll add the last two matches to the to the video. I like to show the five uh, matches and. Uh, yeah, we we'll tried that, but this deck has been um, has felt good to be honest. In these two matches I played against Four Color and Merc Tide, so that was like very good showing of the deck. The Turax really overperformed. Twenty four lands again. You have Den of the Bugbear, Have a Die Tyrant. You have Takenuma. Those three cards are like some useful lands. There's not like Shinka or more Den of the Bugbear. This deck is still mono black. Sorry, it's mostly black. So you don't want to play Infinite Mountains. In the side we have either Duo Consumo, which never really loved this card, but it was impressive. Uh, I think it's good against uh, many decks, mostly Armor Time, but of course it's also good against Graveyard decks. I think it's also good against uh, the uh, Is It Merc Tide. Um, but yeah, you got, you got you don't have any like Nihil Spell Bomb or Relic because you already have Dothi Main, and then Ashiok side is mostly for the Amulet Titan deck. Uh, what else we got? We got Pine Moon, we got Chandra, Obsidian Char Mod, this is for the Tron matchups. Yeah, overall this deck is um, well, a pretty classic Rakdos. It doesn't have lures anymore, which kind of put it out of the tier 1 zone because, well, it doesn't have iteration, it doesn't have lures, so it's really lacking like the best cards to compete with other control deck, but the uh, first two matches against Four Color and uh, Merc Tide really, I don't know, made me think that this deck could compete. I'll see the rest of the matches, but uh, I liked it. Buongiorno, Daddy Carne. How's it going? Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of uh, Is It Merc Tide on the YouTube channel, of course. Um, this is similar to that. We still have Ragavan <laughs> and Bolt, I guess. There's no, um, yeah, of course, Nob Nixilis. Nob Nixilis isn't a good card. Uh, there's this, uh, um, I don't know, uh, rumors that it was a good card, but it, it isn't. In you know, Liliano the Veil is like 20 times better. Okay. Still, 
on the fence about this card because of course it exhausts your graveyard for card like Krogsai, kills your one drop in Ragavan and Treasures, but I think you can time this card in a proper way. Oh, okay, vamos, we're ready. Good morning, Manalo, how's it going? Gurt McGee. Mm -mm. All right, another Yorin matchup. <laughs> this league uh, has been, obviously, usually Yorin means for color, might mean something like humans or stuff, but you usually in Magic or Line, it's just tier, mostly tier one decks. Okay. Let's go. Oath of Nisa. That's one of the good thing about playing on Magic Online. It's... The, I would say the level on average is quite high. With decks that you play against in these in these leagues. Alright. Man, that's fine. We have Dreadboard for Ryan and Six. We have Discord for Ryan and Six. Our opponent took Planebound Accomplice. That's the combo card that wins with Vivian. I'll take I'll take Ren and six. Opponent doesn't have a basic land uh, a land to return, but yeah, well, I'll say either right. Yeah, I'll take Ren and six. Even if I dread a boar, I don't mind. Bonjour, bonjour. It's Monday. Pretty excited to try to start a new a new week. Plus, this week is gonna be uh, even more important for me because. Uh, this Sunday, there's the uh, deadline deck submission for the uh, New Capena Set Championship, that is the Arena Pro Tour. It's historic and standard, so I'll be doing a lot of uh, a lot of testing of that format. You'll definitely find some historic and standard content on the stream, but I'll always manage to put one video out every day of Modern, because I think this is the best deck uh, by pretty wide margin, as well as uh, the most uh, beloved format on the channel, for sure. Okay, let's see what this flood is trying to get here. Weird that they fetched first. Did I draw what? An, a one drop? What did you draw? I've played this deck already on the channel. You can, of course, search it. The We actually went 5-0 with Planebound Accomplice Vivian deck. It wasn't the Planebound Accomplice that performed well. This card, in fact, wasn't amazing. It was the Vivian. Vivian was very nice. Okay, looks like that's another green mana card, like an Utopia Sprawl or another Oath of Nisa. Yeah, you took this for all. Okay, so this is their hand. Draw. Our thoughts is again. And what do we take here? So I could take plain bound accomplice, just because so that my opponent doesn't um, just combo off all, all of a sudden if they draw the the Vivian. How come we play Rakdos over is it? That's a good question. It's mostly to try new stuff. Bima's good. It was it was powerful. It was a one card combo all the time. Six mana win the game. Wow, that was a good draw, Omnath. Yep. No land though. I love that. Of course we dreadboard this. And then I, hey, that's weird, because both of these lands are tapped, so might as well play Black Lip Cliff. I guess actually I should have played this, because I'm going to discard a land to the Spiromancer, so I wish I discarded the Black Lip Cliff. Yeah, I haven't thought about it. They have a nice weekend, very nice. It was the Mother's Day weekend. Ooh, I can die. Sahili Rai in their hand, they drew Felidar Guardian. Game might be over now. Need to draw a Fatal Push. It was Mother's Day, we went to a, yeah, nice, very nice weekend for sure. Bonjour, not that though. Another 
for me a sec. Yep. That's the problem with the Discord spell decks. And what I always try to say on my on my videos whenever I play these decks. You can, if you play a deck like this, you can never complain that your opponent is top decking. Because that's actually the nature of your deck. Your deck puts your opponent in top deck mode, so they will be drawing off the top, whereas in the normal deck, you don't uh, see their, their hand continuously, so you don't know that they just top decked. So if you play a deck like this, it's very important that your mood isn't to always salt off if your opponent draws a card, because then you shouldn't play this deck. Keep this in mind very much when you play a deck like this. All right, let's play Spiromancer. I think I'm gonna get rid of the lands here. I need to draw a push or a um, Totsies or Inquisition. Nice. I have to push now because I fetched here, whereas if I pass, I haven't fetched. The Den of the Bugbear could have been in play over a uh, Black Cliff Cliff. That's a mistake. I hope it's not going to come up, but that's certainly a mistake that I will regret, I'm sure. Just having a, a creature land in play is so much better than having... Uh, on turn 4, I mean. Of course, on turn 1 and 2, you love to start with Cliffs. Pujono Stefan. They have Eldritch Evolution, which can win them the game out of nowhere. You know, Teferi bounce out of me, so that's a powerful play. Okay, they go Teferi, no? Without tapping blue mana because of both of Nisa. And they bounce out of Nisa. That's a... Um, yeah, just... Basically... <laughs> Three mana, look at the top four, pick up two cards. Okay. Mr. Rainforest. There it is. They have four cards, one, two of which are Sahili and Eldritch Evolution. Opponent deck is kind of scary. I can win out, out of nowhere. Because remember, Fighter Guardian plus Sahili can win on turn. Um, can win on turn uh, with six mana. Because you go Fighter Guardian, you blink a land, and then you play Sahili. I'm gonna go Stotsy Spyro here. Mm, they're fetching. What's this? The up next to this isn't good. Isn't good in. It's not. It's not a good card. Oh, Quattro. Do you have? Oh, you have the. You have the. Um, I should probably put a name on this, like a metal craft or I don't know, Snowcraft. <laughs> okay, that's a trade. Yep. You keep your thought to theory. Although, of course, it's not like amazing in this against this deck because we don't have instants. But of course, then playing sorceries in my turn is annoying. Uh, what do you want to take here? Hmm. Sayili doesn't do much. I think I'm going to take Eldritch Revolution. It's scary. It's very scary. Hmm. I could go Bolt, but I actually don't want to go Bolt here. And I can't land in Bolt the Sahili in response because that's the fairy. Yeah, I really wish I had a Den of the Bugbear in play. But that's okay, let's continue. The viewer in Black House 8, they don't have Omnath yet. They have three cards. I can do this, but yeah, I don't feel good about the game right now. We have Tyrak to draw. Of course, we have 
two more to rock plus sideboard. Two plus two, we have, well, we have Chandra. That's mostly it. Good morning, Mr. Leslie Cho. Okay, they go to 10. They have four, six mana. Okay, they return Yorian. Now I could draw Thoughtseize to discard it, of course. They can cast Prismatic Ending at instant speed, remember. Hmm. Not the worst, not the worst. I'll talk with both at the Fairy. Lose that. Oh, well, I'll just go Raven's Crime. If I had a Den of the Bagbeer, I would have probably fired off that. Just turn. Remember, I can't bolt anything. I mean, I could bolt this, but I don't want to. Hmm. Actually, probably I should. Okay, this card is like Yuli. Probably should line and bolt this now. Just because they'll reset it with Yorin, so might as well kill it. Poon is gonna draw two cards with their big bird. Don't feel good about this game. Opponent did a lot of value, and I just simply did not. I drew a couple of cards as Spyro, but that wasn't uh, that wasn't up to what my opponent's doing. But then again, you need the, the Liliana and the Tirak to, um, yeah, to change the the game. Without those, it's harder. Of course, this deck doesn't have the, the Channeler Bubble iteration, so drawing your good card in matchup is a little bit harder than uh, other decks. So of Nice has done a lot of good work from my opponent. They bounced it with you took the fairy, they blinked it with Yorian. It's not really a card that's very popular in the normal four color decks, but it's been good. I mean, I played it in my Vivian, the combo deck, but. All right. I'll skip Kroxa. Discard a land, I guess. I have to hope they don't have a prismatic ending now. And you play lands with this deck. The reason being, you have Season Pyromancer. You might want to go like Season Pyromancer, land plus Durak next turn, and you need to make a land drop. So it's important. This deck is a deck that has like draw to card, draw to effect. So holding a land doesn't make much sense. There isn't the Fable of Kikijiki. So if there's a Fable of Kikijiki, then um, then sure you can hold the land, but as a result in this deck, you really don't have any use for keeping a land in it. And making your opponent play around stuff, it's, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of playing bluffing a spell when you have a land in, in hand. Attack means what, Teferi? Teferi minus here, could be. They passed. Sure. I got a 10. Draw. I want to play this first. They have Solitude, I hope not. Yeah, they have Solitude and Felidar Guardian. I think I can just uh, save time and concede here. Okay, now we're bringing in Chandra, we're bringing in Tarak. That's mostly it. The rest of the cyber isn't great. You got Cool in this command, which isn't great. Sorry, which could be com come in, but it's mostly it. 
All right, what's bad in the matchup? It's probably a combination of these cards. I don't want A removals, so I'll take some of them out. I, I can honestly just be one of a kind. I need to draw the Turak. Now we have four. This card really switched the matchup because you got a two for one. Oh, not even a two for one. You got three for one. And the one that you're getting into play, it's a really large threat that can't be dealt with. Again, I won the, the first round against four color. Two one actually was obviously a close game. And the Turak really, really helped. You think that Terminate is the best one? Sure, Terminate costs you mana. A card that costs one more mana than another is usually the best one. Uh, because of Izazuku, we're not playing Darcy. Oh, we're simply not playing Darcy because without the Consider and uh, Connor spell and I don't know, just in general. If you play Darcy, you have to play Bubble, you have to lower your lands. It's just a different deck. You don't play 7 3 drops if you play Darcy and things like that. I'm playing a lot of hand disruption in this deck. Yep. Seven. That's a lot. You want to bring the Obsidian Charmo to kill the Enchanted Land. That's a reasonable line. It's just that this card costs five mana. I think that you can't play five drop in modern, but you only bring this in when it costs like three against Tron or Urza Saga, maybe. Or even Mystic Gate. Okay, let's go. Blacklift Cliff, Blacklift Cliff, Thought Seas. Huh, they got Veil of Summer. Veil of Summer stops my Turak. I can take Utopia Sprawl and make them go slower, but I think I like to take Veil of Summer. They go Utopia Sprawl, I guess. They named it Red. Okay. Ooh, that's a big drop. I love Spyro. Um, let me go. They treat this as a four drop. Whenever you play button accomplish, there it is. They revealed Ice Fan Coatl, okay. They can go Braiding Pool out of Nice again. Mm, Mr. Red Force, okay. And they pass, wow, they're gonna play new Oath of Nisa. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'll go. Maybe they have Veil of Summer, that's why. Mm, could be. Alright, let me go Spyro Manzo here. Uh, what do I discard? Uh, I can discard Push and Thoughtseize. Hmm. I kind of like Thoughtseize actually. I can discard Chandra and Push here. Found the fourth lane for Turek. Of course, discarded two reasonable cards. I mean, it's spells, so they're always good. But Season Pyromancer 
puts pressure so that I can kill a Teferi, a Renan 6, a Sahili, you know, just pressure Planeswalker with board state is very important. Now, the fact that my opponent left up the green mana earlier and without playing the Oath of Nisa is a little bit scary. It means to me that they have uh, the um, Veil of Summer. So, that's scary. Okay, they killed an Elemental. Wow. Sure. I guess they want to go as Fenquatil. I'd love to do that so that I can play Tarak. Tarak doesn't die to most of the removals from Prismatic Ending to Solitude to just being blocked by things. Okay, they went untap land here and passed again. Sure. Like we both had Bren. Takanuma can bring back Chandra or stuff like that. Like we both here. I will go Polluted Delta Swamp for Turok. I'll keep the Takanuma as a spell. Unfortunately now it's possible that they have uh, a Veil of Summer. But at the end of the day, we're playing an AT card with already drew one. So I guess I'm just hoping they didn't draw it. Although the way they played it previous turn made me think they have it. They don't play Counterspell. That's a different deck. Alright, they play Koato. They direct this card's Oath of Nisa wins with Teeth. Okay, now we got 4 3. Although it can be blocked by the Coato if it gets Snow Land. Alright, or another Snow Permanent. It could also be another Coato. So we got two things. Now we have a Thoughtseize to follow it up. We could have had a Charger over a Thoughtseize. That was the, the close call I had two turns ago. I guess I was just hoping to drop some more spells. I mean, I do have a spell. The uh, Takenuma only costs three because I have a legend. Okay, they got back Yorian and played a top land. They still don't have Delirium, or rather, they still don't have uh, mm -hmm, Snowcraft. They attack, sure. You're off. <laughs> Not bad. All right. Uh, I should have played Thoughts is first. I missed the damage here. If I play Thoughts is first, the Turak gets bigger. It's okay. So I'll play Turak. I'll uh, play Thoughts is to take the Yorian for sure. Yeah. It's really nice that they have the prismatic ending that can't kill Turak. Uh, what else? I could go Pyromancer and. Uh, yeah. Draw two cards, or I can just play Black Cliff Cliff Tapped, then I have Takenuma to get back Chandra. I like that better, I think. Hello, Raphael. How's it going? Welcome, welcome to the stream. Prismatic ending doesn't really have a, a nice job in here. <laughs> Actually, I could die if they have a, if they draw. No, no, I can't die. Never mind. They don't have double red to kill me with Vivian. Yep, exile my Spyro. Thank you for the cheers, Barge Boos. Appreciate it. All right, let's play a raise gray, a raise dead. End of turn. Takenuma, excellent land. Mill three, and then return it. Whoa, there's Kroxa. Love it. The Kroxa can help me discard the uh, plane bout accomplice now, so that I want to die to a top deck Vivian. Draw. There's a land. It's even better. It's okay because I could have gone Chandra plus Kroxa. Let's just go Kroxa first. Actually, one sec. They have. Uh, Metalcraft or um, Snowcraft. So let's think about that, okay? 
Let's go Crookside. Doesn't matter what you exile as long as you don't exile. It really doesn't matter actually. Yeah. No, no matters. So the good crooks are first. You discard. I'll actually F6. I want to attack with two rack. I'm gonna attack with Elemental. This card becomes a six. I'll attack with Elemental because I don't want to trade. The discard gets death touch next turn. Or rather, this turn with the island there, planes there. I think that the matchup just switch. Whenever you draw to rack, the matchup is good. Whenever you don't, the matchup is bad. Our deck is under power compared to them, but we have a powerful card that's to rack. That's really bad. Like it can just like it discarded two cards, and it's like a threat that brought them to eight, and they couldn't kill with ending and solitude or whatnot. Okay. So here I want to go. Dotty Wood Walker, Chandra. Minus three on Coato, attack with all. If they, if they go solitude here, even if they go solitude here, it's fine. I can't block the Tarak. Alright, let's go to combat. Let's see what they do. If they play solitude first. Uh, actually, they have two planes. They fetch planes here. Yeah, I think it's a solitude. It's okay. It's okay. They go to one with my Turok attack. And then they just untap and die. If I, uh, <laughs> if I played the... I don't know. Thoughts is pretty combative would have died. But it's just possible to overcome. I mean, they do have a combo in their deck. But now they're in top deck mode. Even if they draw Vivian, it doesn't do anything. So let's go game three. Opponent doesn't give up. They attack my Planeswalker. I'm gonna defend it with an elemental token. What's their combo? Accomplice plus Vivian. If you haven't checked it yet, you can go to my YouTube channel and check it. There's a clip that shows the combo as well as the actual video of the deck. They made a Rhino token. Putent isn't dead, apparently. Opponent went two times. Oh no, actually they're dead. What am I talking about? Never mind. Sorry, chat. Okay, shadow. In the shadow, shadow. Actually, it's, that's not the card. It's not the song. Okay, let's go to the second match. I am on the draw, which a deck with seven discs or spell that isn't in the worst shapes on the draw as many as much as the other decks. Although they do have Veil of Summer. So if they go forest go, I'm like, uh probably you lose. I mean I look at this side, but I don't see anything powerful, so I'll just submit this back. You watch the last round of PT Shadows of Rainestrad. Oh no, that was that was that was great. <laughs> that was a great round. Memorable round. Ah. Uh. Uh. Okay. Let's go, to rock, to rock. You might really seem a lot to play for, but I feel like you need to. I feel like you need to. Worst case scenario, like if you draw multiple of this, the second one is a four mana I'm to two rack that pumps the first two rack. It's not like the worst. And if you are mana screwed, you can just cast this on two. It's not the worst. I mean, obviously, I'm not, we're not talking about like the the ideal scenario is exactly what happened in this game, which you draw exactly one. And your opponent doesn't have a bit of summer and they die to it. That's the ideal scenario. 
But this deck doesn't have card selection outside of like Pyromancer, I guess. So if you wanna, if your card is very good in a matchup, you need to play four. The coverage channel, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Hopefully some more coverage is gonna come back next year. I will be doing coverage uh, this summer. I'll be going to uh, Sweden, Malmo, where there's gonna be, I'm gonna be covering the um, Legacy 20K, sorry, Modern 20K on uh, the, th the first days of uh, July. One, two, three, July. Okay, this is the risk of playing with cards like Shizo, is that you draw them over a fetch land. I think I'm gonna keep this hand. It's not a good hand, but it has potential if it draws a third land. Fable of the Mirror Breaker is not good enough for Modern. It's, it's a fine card, you can play it, but it's not, it's not a good card. All right, draw, Graver Cairns. Stotsies, what do I see? I see a couple of Oath of Nisa and an Endurance. I'll take the Endurance. The Oath of Nisa is like a anything, so whatever they get, they get. You keep this hand. Worst case scenario, you never draw a land and you, and you lose the game. It's okay. Once you get yourself in a mindset of like losing the game, if things don't go properly, it's fine. Like, what do you think about Obnixilis? I've said it before, I can't repeat it for the stream, but um, Obnixilis isn't a good card. That's it, period. Finish. No more, no more to articulate. Okay, Oath of Nisa. They got a land. That's weird. They used the Mr. Enforce, which is the card that they drew. Okay, they play another Oath of Nisa. So their hand is Catch Triumph with the footers on the card that they're gonna play now. Alright, they have Omnath. Omnath is powerful. And he can come down next turn. Oh, Kokatsu. <sighs> oh, not so powerful. Actually, I have a play chat. I have a play. I go Ragaban to ramp for Chandra to kill Omnath. That's good. That's my play. So we're going to use Ragaban as a... Um, It was <laughs> like, I don't know, build your mana for next turn. Pass. I, I can't play Inquisition. I need the fourth mana to play Chandra. Alright, stomping ground. Go, go. I wish I could draw a bolt or a push so that I can go push a Liliana sack. Unfortunately, it wasn't the draw and they had mana ramp, so. It's gonna be very hard to win, but we're gonna try our best here. So I can go Shizo Chandra and kill the Omnath. You can never let an Omnath survive. They have a Yorin in their deck. Yeah, of course Chandra dies. That's 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 okay. I'm not thrilled about it, but I I couldn't have done anything better. Unfortunately. They have four cards. It's a lot of four cards. They have five, actually four mana. I hope it's not another Om... Ah, it can't be another Omnath. Hmm. Nice, I hope they just got back Yorin. Although, once again, Inquisition does not discard it, unfortunately.
Feather Guardian. Ooh. Okay. Let's see what they get. They got Coatl. Mm. Mm. Okay. It's a bad land. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I could go Spiromanza and just hope. I think that's what I'm gonna do here. This deck plays a lot of lands. Gonna go Spiromanza, discard Kruxa, Ragaban, draw two. I draw two rack, but I don't draw a land to discard this. And I could die now. Sahili Rai kills me. Let's see if they have it. Death to Fairy. It's not quite Sahili Rai. They bounce an elemental token. Okay, wow. They have three cards. They, they, they have three mana, so they cannot return Yorin. I'd love if they do that, actually. Because then my Turak can't hit the Yorin. Wow, I just noticed. My opponent has five minutes on the clock. I just noticed now. Five minutes on the clock is not very much, if you ask me. If you ask me, Mangu, how much is five minutes? Not very much, actually. I now regret that I conceded game one. I wish I didn't concede game one. All right. Um, my opponent has a lot of mana. They can definitely... They can definitely uh, play Yorian next turn, and I actually three, four, five, six, seven. If I kill this, they can't. Okay. Man, I really regret that I conceded the game one. Now. All right, that's the lesson, chat. You learned it here. Can never concede game one because you're putting my time out on game three. Hello Seth, how's it going? Thank you for the large raid, welcome. We're playing Rakdos in Modern. And uh, we're playing against uh, the clock is for color time pile. Okay, so I do not want to, to play Turak because I care about killing this elf so that they can't go your in next turn. I think what I'm gonna do is Liliana Sacrifice. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Well, Liliana Sacrifice. And then push the Coatl. And then kill Teferi. So that the Yorin can't blink it. Hello, 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 Seth. I hope you had a night of stream okay so they did they suck the, the Kowato. unfortunately all right let me attack the teferi first with both that means that their guardian kills my liliana but that's fine i could also kill the the Felidar guardian but this way i guarantee them to sorry this way it's they need a land untapped to play Yorin. Let's see what they do. They play Sahili Rai, I lose. Alright, GG. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna win. Try to four minutes is plenty to combo. So I lost. I could have pushed the Felidar Guardian and I would have lost to the Sahili. Opponent would have gone Yorin Blink. Maybe that would have been better. I'm not sure. GG though. GG. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Yeah, two one. It's okay. This match was was cool though. Cool first uh, first show up for the deck. When I played the um, the Vivian deck, I wasn't playing Sahili Rai. Yeah, leaving Felder Garden alive is Monka S, but at the same time, also guaranteeing the 
the eight mana for Yorian was was scary, especially because Yorian is a four five. You know, I didn't have an answer for it. They could have drawn two cards. I think it's okay. I took the risk and I lost, but it's okay. All right, new match. Let's go. Leaving Felder Garden alive actually also made me lose to Vivian, so that was maybe a mistake. Yeah. You have Vivian and Sahili? Nice. Cavern of Souls. All right, is that elemental? Oh, humans. Wow. Humans. Okay. Let's see what the humans do. I could have gone Ragaban and then bolt the Sentinel. Okay, I didn't do that though. Uh, I'm taking Sentinel, I think. Let's see if they have a follow up. Okay, they don't. Cool. No two drops. Yeah, I can go Thoughtsies, Ragaban. They need a third land to play. Whoa, they didn't play Thales Lieutenant. That's weird. I want to take Adeline. Huh. I want to take Imperial Recruiter. Actually, I might do that. Imperial Recruiter is annoying against uh, if they have a Sanctifier in back. Sanctifying back is like almost impossible to deal with game one, only Liliana. Let's see if they draw land here to play the Reflector Mage. Because if they don't, oh, they draw a two drop. Okay. So they can go Lieutenant and Violin a two drop, looks like. What's that, Thalia? Thalia, annoying, very annoying Thalia. It, doesn't, it makes me impossible to double spell. Draw. They're gonna go bolt on Thalia attack. And Ragavan will probably go through because they don't want to trade. They might, of course. Oh, they do? Okay. Alright, fine then. I was thinking that then I could have terminated the Adeline. Happy with both scenarios. But opponent value goes up to three. And they have a land. Alright, so they, I know their hand is... Let's see if they play Adeline. They probably don't. Oh, wow, they do? Sure. That's the Resplendent Cathar. They have one card in hand and mana up. I am going to go... What? Just terminate the Adeline, I think. Yeah. It's not my efficient. I want to do that. I'll do that in upkeep. I want to first make them play the... This one only bounces the opponent creature, right? Huh? Can't bounce your own creature. Alright, and I'll go terminate now. How's that doing modern? Well, it's better than Mantis Rider in humans. That doesn't say much, but it's better than Mantis Rider in humans. That's it. Okay, they have two cards. And I'll go draw land. I think I'm gonna go what? Just land Spiromanzo. Opponent can reflect or mage the Pyromancer on the stack. It's fine, right? I mean, if I go Liliana, it's not great. I can go Liliana plus this card of land. I mean, it's actually not the worst. Good game, Miyazacho. Yeah, you're the vegan opponent. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I lost to your Thalia Guardian. It's fine. Could have played around it. Alright, I think I'm gonna go Liliana Plus here. I hope opponent does, didn't find a powerful 3 drop. They discarded the land they had. Okay. Sure.
Andrew Ward, Noble Hark. Looks like that. Delgana's just a good card. Just a good card. It might be obsolete, sure, but still. Okay, I think I'll begin with a Pyromancer Mine uh, card. Yeah, just discard this the Voidwalker. Make it 1 1, which obviously is relevant. And again, they can, with ability on the stack, bounce the uh, Pyromancer. But I'm still fine. Still fine. Yep, I discard my hand, draw two. I can go minus. And I can go land, go. Do I want to terminate the Reflector Mage now? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to do it regardless. So might as well do it in upkeep. How the block? How was my weekend? It was great. It was great. Lots of uh, family stuff. We went to this uh, very nice agritourism. Ate a lot of good food. Played with my niece. She made me run a lot, but uh, it's good. Being on call uh, is nice. All right, I drew Madly Mage. Sure. They named Krozza. Okay, push. A um, little bit awkward. I think I'm going to just minus. Attack, and then I'll flashback Spyromanzo. I have the eye, but, but yeah. Mm hmm. Put a bunch of tokens. Drop. I think I'll ignore this and go to town with all my creatures here. Wish this was at the end of the bugbear, but then again, I don't want to play too many red lands. This deck is mostly black. Buongiorno Giorgio. Now they've passed. That could mean they have a three drop. I'm still uh, sending in. Because they have push. Let's see, what's their three drop of choice? It's a Reflector Mage. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, they can bounce the land that I already played. I want to bounce Champion or Reflector Mage here. Hmm. Sorry, man, I want to kill. I think I'm going to kill the Reflector Mage. Does that, does that make sense? No, I'll kill the Champion. Okay, you got eight. I have three elementals. It's okay. This can give fear to a creature with legend. Uh, to, to a legend. Uh, we have Turak and Ragavan to give fear to. Ooh, Krotza. Nice. Let's play Krotza. Although I can't uh, recast it already because this comes into play tapped. Let's see what's their hand here. Oh, they have Turak and they didn't play it. Uh, I'll terminate this. And attack you down to five and then the high will also be lethal.
Okay, now uh, we're bringing in explosives for the Sanctifier and Vec. We're bringing in the Idazugu. We're bringing in Chandra. Actually, Obsidian Charmo is surprisingly amazing in this matchup. It costs two mana very often. I don't want to bring in more Turax and K Command as well. I'll take out a couple of Kroxas, Thought Seizes, Dothibod Walkers. That's 10 cards. Yeah, I guess I can uh, keep what, Kirksa? All right, I have to go to the bathroom. Be back in two minutes. Let's go. Hello, Debbie. Good morning. Good morning. We have uh, the Itazuku for the matchup. Well, it's not like outstanding or anything, but they do have Vile and such. Okay. This hand. I think it's very good if we draw a mountain and we lose if we don't. I have two draws only to draw it. I'm playing a slow, a fast matchup. I kept the same hand previously against Four Color, but that's because Four Color is like a slower deck. Maybe it can give you a little bit more time. This matchup is in, so I'm gonna mulligan. Alright, I'll keep the Zen, although it's obviously not great. Uh, bottom. Maybe Blood Crypt. Yeah. Bayou Presence, thank you for the Prime sub, welcome. Do I remember the last round of PT Soy? I, I did, yes. <laughs> I did remember. Okay, uh, let's go Inquisition over Ragaban. Oh, they have, the, they have the, the very strong curve. Ay, ay, ay. I don't look great in this match. Uh, I can take Talia Garden of Thraben, I think, but uh, I'll be. I need to draw a removal spell for this. It's gonna be very, very big. Have I tried Cabal Coffers deck yet? No, it doesn't seem like a good deck. Sorry. Champion into Talia's new It's gonna be a five-five. Or rather, a three-three. Sorry. The next turn a five-five. All right, draw. Okay, 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 that's not bad. That's not bad. I'll play Ragaban. That's very good draw, Idazugu. Opuna's gonna play Reflector Mage and bounce my Ragaban, I think. Good morning, Udo. No, they don't. They draw Adeline. Oh, yeah, Adeline. Adeline! So good, Adeline. 
Ay, ay, ay. I was really hoping for a bounce spell so that Izuku would, uh, yeah, then kill my Ragavan. Wow. Oh, actually, yeah, the humans pump the lieutenant. That's true. Okay, then, we chum block, because Dida Zuga is going to kill a Ragavan anyway. But Adeline was a great draw there. Very good draw there. Okay, let's go Consuming Goal. Ay, ay, ay. Come on. Cancel. Okay, boom. Clean. Clean some of it. Then, uh, they might not be able to... Ah, never mind, actually. Opponent is just attacking with this and uh, the humans will pump the lieutenant. Yeah, the Ragavan there, I really was hoping that would play the <laughs> Reflector Mage. Because now the uh, lieutenant goes away of bolt range and my left thought was going to be very, very small now. Three cards. They don't have a third lane last turn. But Forge Tender. Ay, 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 ay. That's very annoying. BTF. And see, BFT. If I go bolt, I can't bolt anything. I can't bolt anything here. Huh. It's really funny. I can't bolt anything. And if I go Chandra minus, they just suck the Barrent and I lose. Yeah, I have to go Spiromanzo, I think. I'll go Spiromanzo. Discard these two, make two tokens. No, but like, this game is probably over now. When the humans has a good start on the play, it's pretty impossible to stop. Irizugu did not consume all. It consumed half. Consumed half. Talia. Bonjour, Talia. I need a I need a bonfire actually that doesn't do now. I need a terminus. That's what I need. <laughs> you know what, chat? I prefer dying. I prefer dying. I prefer dying than blocking. Sometimes death is the, the best choice. Okay, let's go. Kind of excited about Obsidian Charma. I think it will be very, very good. It's better Jun Sagavan or Rakdos. I think they're similar. I think they're both solid decks. Not uh, very good decks, but solid decks. The problem with this card is that it is shadow. Shadow means it can't block. Not blocking isn't great in this matchup. In this matchup you want your cards to be able to block. Alright, let's go. I believe in this hand. I believe in this hand. Tarek is a better chum blocker. Yeah, but it's legendary and it doesn't die. So my problem is that one. If I go turn one monkey, no, don't take out monkey. Don't, trust me, never. Don't touch that card. Keep the card religiously in your deck. You can only take it out against Yugmoth. That's it. Cavern of Sauce. Ether Vial, nice. I love that for my Dezugu. Deck Blood Crypt. And pass. I'm not going to play Explosives because Dezugu is uh, uh, coming up next. I should have played Urborg, that was a punt. Because I can't discard the Swamp to the Spyro. No. 
should have played Urborg. Or honestly, even Mountain would have made sense. What's that, Thalia? Champion! Come on in! More wine drops? Yes! Eat a doggo! Oh, they draw a card though. Hmm. More one drop opponent, more one drop. Yes! Do I want to make them draw a card or use a push? Because I can't use a push to not make draw a card. Would I rather trade a card in their hand for a push in my hand? Let me think about the trade. I give you a card in hand and I keep push. Does that make any sense? I have explosives to do with two drops. I have Spiromanzo that will want me to empty my hand. I think I'm fine with trading push for a card in your hand. Because I, I want to empty my hand with Spiromanzo. Whoa, Turak. See, Turak rewards, rewards for keeping my opponent uh, hand in check so I can discard it all. That's clap for Turak. Mostly though, it's clap for Itadzugu here. A nice little consuming. Sanctifier and Vec is very good, but we have the explosives. I'll go Turak. They have three cards in hand. They discard Meddling Mage and Adeline. Here we go. The Dazugu will come in handy next turn. 3-3. Three, three. That also killed 3 permanent. Not bad, if you ask me. Let's attack for four. I might not even want to kill the Sanctifier with the... Oh, what's that? Black? Black? What's that? Oh, Dismember? Oh, sweet. <laughs> All right, then my explosives will be better. Oh, because of Urborg, they don't need to lose two lives. That's funny. Okay. Uh, 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 let's play this for two. Let's play a top land. Actually, yeah, I could also play Pyromanzo, but I'd rather play a top land so that they can't kill my explosives. Yeah, now we consumed it all. Yep. I'll crack the explosives. They can't go land. Um, they can't go land to drop. If they just attack first, they would have a. Hello. Uh, let's begin by attacking with this. We'll become a four four. Then I can go push. Season Pyro. Goodbye, Liliana. You're good. And this card of three drop. Oh wow, a land. I didn't expect a land. They missed the land drop last turn. Okay, okay. Yeah, this uh, Vessel Consuming Gall was uh, the card that won the game. Without it, I don't think I would have won. So, well done. Well done, Vessel. <laughs> okay, let's go through for the last match. Last match of the league. The... The 
the video, the YouTube video. So I've recorded only two matches. Uh, the YouTube video will also have these other two that I have uh, uh, previously made on on uh, um, on coaching, but I will upload them on the YouTube channel tomorrow. I think yeah, oh, on Tuesday. Hidazuga's been good in your testing. I think Hidazuga requires you to build your deck accordingly. You can't have Channeler and Ragavan, of course, but in this deck that only has Ragavan, which just dies most of the times, it's gonna be good. Also, Hammer Time is one of the best decks in the format, and Hidazuga is very good against that deck. Like killing Sanct uh, Sigarda's Aid is a big deal. Sigarda's Aid is the card uh, responsible for most wins out of that deck. And it's just impossible for you to deal with. It's an enchantment. Of course you have explosives, but that's just it. Uh, Ida Zugu also is relevant with a graveyard eight. What do you say, uh, Sebasen? If you're boarding out Ragavan, I don't. I don't. I don't take out Ragavan ever. Again, only against Young Wolf. Alright, last match of the league. Let's go. Uh, once again against Yorin. I play against Yorin three times in this league. Yorin Omnath is the most popular. Not most popular, sorry. Just try the, the best deck in the format. Uh, I'm gonna go Blood Crypt here. We have Tirak, so... I feel good about uh, this end. We don't have the third land yet, but we play 24. 24 is a lot of lands in modern. In a 60 card deck. Okay, good. I have my third land. I can just discard Lightning Bolt pretty freely in this match. Uh, Dreadbore is good against Ren and Six. We don't have an Oli Heat, so there's just no way we can kill the the, the Ren and Six. I could play Bloodship Thirst, I guess, over Dreadbore. I can see that. Ooh. Okay, that's Team Younger, that's Ryan and Six. Yep. They return the land, we can't bolt it. You're cool. Seven cards. I was going to go Liliana this card, but uh, obviously not gonna do that against a Ryan and Six. Okay, Dothy Void Walker right on time, and by right on time I mean right not on time. I uh, think I'm going for Spyromanzo, discarding Bolt. Uh, actually, Liliana also probably sucks. No, I'll discard Bolt and Dalty, yeah. I might have loved to play a 2-drop on turn 2. That's usually how you... Um, yeah, just how you win games with Magic usually, just by curving out. So, obviously, when you draw this one turn later, it's gonna be almost... Just not good anymore. But it's okay, next turn I have mana for Chirac, so things should be all right. They don't have white mana yet. And they have eight cards in end. Is that the mana for a counter spell? That's super weird. I got to discard. Okay, so they probably have a counter spell. 
I've been almost played against uh, Elementals, the Vivian combo deck, but it's been a while since I've played against the version with um, Counterspell. First, I'm gonna play Swalker, and then I'm gonna go. Oh, they don't. Oh, they have Endurance. Oh, okay. I mean the Endurance. So that means Elementals, I guess. I have only sorceries, so. Yep. Okay, now, uh, I can do a bunch of a bit of plays, of course. I can just go to Rack, but their hand is going to be mostly lands. And Tarak isn't even amazing against Endurance. No, I guess it is, because we have thoughts is to grow it. I could have landed Bolt, though. Hmm. Could go Liliana Thoughtseize. I don't think it's that bad. They're gonna go what? Um, Dread uh, Omnath next turn. We got the Dread before it. Hmm. No, I think I'd rather go to Rock. It's bad against Bolt, but outside of that, I'm just very happy to to go to Rock here. Unfortunately, I discarded two lands. Yep. Didn't go well. The the, the randomness of Chirac didn't go well. Ad nauseum in modern. Yep. It's a deck. It's a combo deck for sure. Must be good against four color. It's not great against discard counters and dragon. Alright, I got back another land, so this is random 6 obviously went plus 3, so Arturak didn't. I mostly played this because of uh, it being uh, a threat, dodging Prismatic Ending to Fairy. Of course, Solitude. And uh, next turn I can just go Thoughtsis first, and then attack with a 5-4. Through Endurance. Let's see if this is Omnath looks like. That's okay. That's okay. So I can go Thoughts is first. Cancel. Actually, I can also go Liliana plus. Maybe that's better. Go Liliana plus Dreadborn and Omnath. We're gonna go Lil Actually, I can go Dreadborn Liliana. That's maybe better, yeah. Yeah, let's go Liliana and Dread for. I'm slow rolling this thought season. That can go, of course, like Omenath fetch land, a lot of good things. But um I also keep the thoughts for Yorian. It's fine, whatever they discard it doesn't matter. I just go Dreadbore on the other thing. I guess I should have just Dreadbore first. Should have just Dreadbore first to save time. Like that, yeah, inspired by Spike, it was. Here we go. She's what can give this card fear. Remember, I I haven't never activated Shizo yet, but um, I had the option to do so a couple of times. Okay. You're going to build your first commander deck today. Cool. Yeah, always building decks is always fun. <laughs> Buying cards is indeed the most fun thing of magic. 
playing uh, playing with them is also good, but this is slightly slightly less slightly. Red, oh, Bolton might rock. E, that's bad. If we went thoughts, this would have been five four. Yep, it's okay. Ooh. All right, let's go Woodwalker. Let's go Thoughtseize. We will be exiled. Counterspell ending Solitudine. Okay, I'll take the Solitudine. Plus one. Thank you for two. Their handy is currently Counterspell, Prismatic Ending, Mystery in Forest, and they have Yuri in their companion zone. I don't have anything left, but I have a Lilian of the Veil vale and the Season Pyromancer. I wish I had a bigger Turak. Would have dodged the bolt and then we would have just carried the win. I lose Liliana with from an ending. Let's see if they play anything else. They don't, they keep up counter spell up. Draw. Good draw. Well, attack for five, then they have Pyromancer. I feel good about this game. They get a six. I don't know if you remember my videos from the past playing for Color Yorian, but I hated Counterspell so much. I found the card incredibly clunky. You always want to tap out. You have all these like great sorcery speed threats. And Counterspell was always so easy to play around. And I don't think it's surprised that now the Elementals and the Vivian deck are actually seeing a lot more play than the old version with Counterspell. That's all right. You draw another ending. Yep. So it's such a clunky card. You always like die with it in end. I'm not even joking. The mana base is like weird. You have mountains, forests, temple gardens. All right. Now, Chandra, Turax, and take out. Actually, I think against this deck, I want to take out both bolts. I have a Turak. I love this hand. Look how many discard spell there is in this hand. Okay, let's hope they don't have Veil of Summer. Please, opponent, don't one mana cryptic command me. Nice. Ooh, Spreading Seas. That's such a good card that people have forgotten. <sighs> that was a, so scary. Imagine if Spreading Seas this land. GG. Game over. Thank God it didn't happen. Alright. The power of discard spells. Okay. We have Teferi and Solitudine. And that's the weakness of this Dotty Void Walker card. I can't cast it. They just go Teferi Bounce. I think I'm gonna cast Turak here. I have four. I don't even have lands to uh, cast it on four mana. I don't want to play a two drop that doesn't have an ATB effect and they just Teferi Bounce it. That's just such a poor ex exchange. They drew bold, it's okay. Now I really hope to draw land. Let's see if they go to fairy minus or the fairy plus. They booked the fairy plus, okay. Now let's hope to draw one of our 24 lands, boom. Nope, thought sees. Yeah, it's really poor to play Dotty Void Walker, I think. So I'm just gonna go Thought Season and take at least the Solitude. Ooh, they have Ragaban as well. Mm, I'll take Solitude. Even if I don't, uh, even if I can't push the Ragaban on Dashed, I think I'd rather take the Solitude. 
Uh, Ragavan gets stopped if I draw land from the Pyromancer. Yeah, they dash it. I can't play push because of the fairy. Hmm. <laughs> they re they reveal Ragavan off my Ragavan. They plus the fairy and they pick the Ragavan back up. All right, draw mountain. Tapped. Let's play an empty card and pass the turn. Put it now finally has a reason to minus three with their Teferi. So on and so forth. Do 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 okay, they dash. No dash. Cast. Green. Red. Renetics. No dash. Okay. It's important you don't hit the disc or spell. A dread boar. Okay. Can't use that. I know that this is a game where a counterspell will be good just because I stumbled. All right, let's hope this resolves. If it gets counter, I might as well concede. Okay, good. I can discard this two empty card. Nice. Happy. Let's go. Top land, your turn. I guess I could have also shocked because they can minus the fear and then I can cast push. But I don't want to take two damage. I'm already on ten, and it's unlikely that they kill their own Teferi. It could happen, but it's unlikely. Omnath. Okay, the evil Fetchlands as well. They do, they do. So they have now five, six, seven. That's not enough to play Yorion, thankfully, because that costs eight. But obviously, that's a lot of mana. Yeah, four cards. I only know a Ragavan. They cast it. Okay. They kept back your, I think. No. I don't know. They plus one to Fairy. For starters. Hmm. Okay, that's it. Hmm. So island and tap is a little bit scary. Maybe they uh, bolt. Oh, sorry, a counter spell or Borg. Mm. Uh, okay, let's go to Iraq. To begin. Do you have a counter spell? Oh, they have Quattle. No, what's that? Oh, Endurance. Okay. There are three cards in it. I hope I discard their Eorian here. I don't, cazzo, Mengu. Die, pero Mengu, porca merda. Why so lucky? Mengu! Va bene. Let's attack the Teferi. And then I'll push the Omnath. You see the difference between one and two mana here. It's definitely a big one. Alright, let's push the uh, Omnath. And pass. Now my opponent is going to go Yorian. Actually, uh, no, I mean, they're going to draw a lot of cards here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yep. Oh, they drew Fury. No. 
No, cazzo. Vabbè, ok. I got it. Fine. I'll give him the guys a pet push, that's true. Huh. Terminate. Am I dead on board? I am. So Liliana minus. And then terminate the fury. I guess now I'm not dead on board, but. I don't feel good for sure. Oh, one had a ragaban. Okay, I'll take it. Let's go to game three. This is gonna be the last game of the, uh, the the league. Actually, not the last game of the video though, because I'm gonna add the fourth and fifth, uh, first and second match after at the end. Uh, but yeah. I guess I'm playing against the version with Ragavan, so maybe I want to have Bolt. Nah, 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 Bolt sucks. Let's go. I think I lost this game because I didn't have the uh, Dothy Void Walker on time. Probably. I don't know. Yeah, just the Teferi was very annoying. Okay, that's good. We have Tarak. Things, things look great. Maybe it's too many of these, but Dreadbird will always find a target, especially in uh, Ren and Six, or Teferi that pluses. Yeah, no hitling, not hitting land drops. Yeah, I don't know, I just feel like the, the Dothy Woodwalker is a bad card every time I play with it. Wow. Huh. That's a funny hand. I think I'll take one veil. All right, hopefully draw another discard spell. Ooh. Ah, uh, now we really wish I discarded the ending. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. I'll go land go. I'm gonna play Dotty Void Walker the next turn. That will break my opponent turn three return Yorion play. Because if I play Dotty Void Walker now, my opponent just spends their turn to return to exile this. Oh, they drew another card. Oh, they drew a Ragaban. And they cast it. Okay. Oh, because they have Bit of Summer up. I see. Hmm. I wish I played the Void Walker now, huh? I wish I have a Bolt instead of this. Ah! Bit of Summer is so good against me. I got, I got two for one. I'll accept it. It's, it's a shame. It's a shame, but I have to do this. The 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 the, the Chirac will hopefully get me back in the value I need. Pepengo Porca merda, what a get tilt Why did I get mountain? That was Cause I'm like, I need double red for season pyro. Porco cat, so I didn't think about drawing a push. I was like, I'm gonna play Dreadbird next turn, so even if I draw thoughts is it's fine. Man, I got punished. Oh look. Now, I know they're ending. I'm just gonna I'm just I'm just gonna go Dreadbore. Just gonna go Dreadbore. Pass. 
I mean, if only it took Bloodcrypt, it would have been great. That's okay, it's okay. If I draw land to play, this is gonna be fine. I don't want to play Turax, stop saying that. <laughs> you know how this card does. Alright, they have four cards. They don't return your in, huh? They don't return your in. That might be just Ice Fan Coatl. I'm going to play Turak regardless. If it's Counterspell, that's okay. Counterspell or Coatl? Please, it's Coatl. Yes! Woo! I just hope they decided out Counterspell after how poor it performed game one. This card, Relic and Ending. Okay. They have two cards, one, each, one of which is a forest. Snow cast your veil. <laughs> yeah, I already got rid of two veil of summer. No, both of them. Okay. Aya. <sighs> I just realized that you should play Snow Lands in this deck. You have Void Walker, you can steal a Coatl and then cast it. I have nothing, zero cards. <laughs> Spreading seas, sure. You should always play no land. You should always play no lands. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy, but that's that's the reality. That's the reality of uh, our life. Every deck should play no land. No questions. Ah, uh, they went double double abundant growth this turn. Madonna mia, now they go Yorian next turn and all of a sudden the Yorian is amazing. Earlier Yorian did nothing, but now it's amazing. Sweet cazzo, Mangu, bravo! Bravo, Mangu, bravo! Bravo! Let's go, Thoughtseize. Could have drawn a like Kurtz or Liliana, of course. That would better. Okay, what now? Um, I can, I don't, I definitely cast a card. I can cast a 4-5 without any merit. Or I can cast a Coatl, I'm gonna cast Coatl, I think it's better. Draw a card. Boom. Ragabond. We wanna tr we wanna cast it or actually you know what I'm gonna dash it. This will hundred percent trade with my opponents. This way, if they draw a removal spell, they don't connect with theirs because they're gonna trade with mine. Oh, I can give fear. Wait, it didn't block. Okay, what do I hit? A uh, land. Okay, and I pass. All right, they have one card in hand. Let's see. What's that? Oh, not. Funny how I can also cast Omnat with the spreading seas. What's that? Oh, Otawara? Wow. They Otawara back the Coatl to hit a Lilian of the Veil. No! And they have a Bundan Growth to cast it. Porca puttana! It's okay. This is the Ragavan games. You accept them for what they are. You don't have much control over the, the, the thing. Yours, yours hit bad, theirs hit good. It's okay. It's the nature of the, the Ragavan game. It's fun. Draw. Okay, I'll do it again. What, what do we want to draw your mm, Fury, Fury, Mangu, Mangu, listen, Fury, okay? Mangu, Fury, 
Ready? 60 cards you have. At least two Furies. Let's go. Let's get it. On the trois. Fury! Boom! Omnath! No! No! I tapped the island! I can't believe it! If I didn't tap the island, I could have cast Omnath! No, man! Go per que? Per que? Per que? Per que? Porca puttana Eva! Yeah. Okay, pass. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We can still win. We can still win. Porca merda, so close. Eh, vabbè. Eh, vabbè. That's the, the Ragavan curse. Is that you flip cards you can't cast and they draw amazing spells that they wouldn't have drawn. This is not being unlucky. I misplayed. It's not being unlucky. What? <laughs> that's not the game Magic the Gathering. Dothy Void Walker. Okay, that's good. That's good. And then Liliana discards at least this. Oh, they don't use Liliana. Oh, they, might have, they must have a counter spell in the end. Va bene. Oh, actually, it's not over yet. Still can flip Fury, unless they have a removal, of course. Fury? Fury. Fury? Solitude? I don't know, I want Fury now. Ran and ticks. Okay. Okay. I'll keep this landing end because of Liliana Plus. Don't they have Coatul? They discarded to Liliana a few turns ago. I wonder what they have in it. They, they didn't take up Liliana last turn. Ah, another own that. Relic. Interesting. Mm, you came up Limpswalker. Okay. Now, mm, let's go for the cards because I need some extra luck at the moment. Uh, let's start with the Terminate. Or push. Chandra is alright. Let's dash. Face. Okay. It's okay. I can. I still believe. I still believe. We can still draw season pyro into a couple of things. Their their advantage isn't amazing.
Sì, però puttana Eva, Ponad, ma fermate un attimo, ma che cazzo, ma ce l'hai terra, Dio buono. It's the second um, for color you're in in a row that beats me almost timing out. Okay, so their hand is one card. They have two Planeswalker. I draw. Terra. I play it. Pass. I still believe that Season Pyromancer can turn this into winning on time if I survive. Although it's gonna be pretty impossible. Take four down to five. Season Pyro, come on. It's a snap booster. It's all good. It's all good. We've, we've lost some very close matches. That's okay. Three two. Three two is fine. All right. GG. Okay. So opponent goes Arid Mez, I go. Um, I read Mesa Strange. Uh, this might be Elementals, but I think I'm afraid to go Ragavan because of Bright and Six. Okay? So I just got Thoughts easier. Yeah, it's Element. Uh, it's probably Elementals. Anyway. Um, yeah. Okay. So the Eladamber Skull can give them um, a. Oh, not, but I do have Terminate. What do you think about taking the iteration here? Yeah. Yeah, the March, uh, the thing about March is that it kills a Ragavan next turn, which is annoying. But, I don't know, we'll see, like, they have to shock here. Okay, so they're shocked, uh, because at the end of the day, they can always play a Damaris Call if we don't do anything. So I think that we have to uh, dash Ragavan now. Like, yeah, just play the, make them play the march, and then they won't play Adamer's Call. Okay, and they'll, they'll play Adamer's Call afterwards, but I'll deploy a season. Okay, they shocked here for a Teferi. That's fine. They plus one. You're all the black lip flips. I'll discard two lands. Because I think the terminate is still good against Omnath. I mean, you, you don't need all these lands. Four is enough. Okay, they go you took a sprawl. And the numbers called main phase. Interesting. Oh wow, they've made the sanctifier in Vec. Ah. Oh my god. Main deck sanctifier in back they have. Huh. I wish wish it took the uh, armor's call now with the thoughts is. Oh. Yeah. Slipping away. We still have uh, the two Turak, and I guess, yeah, it's Turak now is, okay, so there was a Reason Reef. 
which I'm gonna kill, but this card can trips when it comes into play. Okay, I guess we can thought is the solitude. And then I kill this and pass. I have to do it on main phase because of the fairy. Okay. They bounced the Reason Reef because they played a new Reason Reef that they drew, bounced it, played again. I think if we draw Turak, we can still win, maybe. I don't know. We don't even have, do, have, do we have any sideboard car for that? I guess we have explosives. That's about it. Yeah, so we have to bring in explosives, the Turak, the Chandra. Do you remember when we talked about the uh, elemental decks? Having Having the, the four out armor is called it just makes you have cards like Sanctifier, makes you have card like Magus of the Moon that you just get access to and shut off the decks completely. And of course like you might also draw these against blue eye controller, hammer time and it's awful. So it's just a double edged sword. Yeah, I think I'm gonna concede. It's just, yeah. Did, tell me, tell me. So Grixis after Lurus Ben definitely took a big hit. Now there's this new card. I don't know if you saw, uh, called the Ledger Shredder. The 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 Shadow Master, um, is playing this 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 card in Grixis Shadow now. Maybe maybe this weekend this card will uh, will perform well. The control it's yeah, I mean it might work. Mm hmm. Versus control, yeah, yeah. So basically, you would be uh, playing with um, uh, the what's it called? Uh, uh, expressive iteration. Hmm. Try the lock. Yeah. It's a good card. So yeah, it might work for sure. Okay, so for now, I mean, if, if I see a deck like that, I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated for sure. Okay, um, so I want these five cards. Um, I think I want to take out Lightning Bolt for sure. And I want to take out, what, one Terminate? Not more, because they still have Omnath that I need to kill. Maybe since I'm bringing in so many expensive cards, I should take out some of these three drops. Maybe I can take out Kroxa, because they have Sanctifier. So I don't want more than, more than two, I think. And actually, we have Fatal Push as well. I think Fatal Push is okay though. It's better than Terminate, I think. We can take out another Terminate, maybe. Maybe one push. I keep hold this is on Pyromancer. See, like, look at the deck right now. Look how expensive it is. Yeah, like, you need to hit your land so badly, you know. With four Turak. It might be possible that even with four Turaks and everything else, it's still like. Not a good matchup, but okay, let's go. All right. Weird lands, but quite. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so thoughts is uh, what do you want to take? Um, might take Omnath or Teferi, I think. What about Omnath? Yeah, I think it's Omnath because if we have Pyromancer, we can attack the Fairy. Whereas Omnath is always going to be a two for one. Now we can go Crooks on next turn. And, and like without fetch land, Crooks is a little bit worse. Okay. Yeah, see, like playing all these weird lands over fetch land makes sometimes your mind be awkward. Although we play eight fetch lands, so it's not that we don't play fetch lands. Like we play more fetch land than they use a Merkdite. But that's because we play 24 lands and that deck plays 18. Okay, so it is kind of Teferi. Interesting. Mountain? Alright, thoughts is. Okay, I think I want to play Kuruksa first and then Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize is actually not that bad. If they drill a Dumber Call, we can discard the either the Call or the um, Sanctifier and Vec. Okay, Iteration to Fairy. Hmm, I think I'm taking Iteration here. Uh, we're discarding everything, sure, but they still have lands that I can just top deck cards and put them into play. We need to we need to draw the the right land now. I mean, either a swamp or a mountain is fine, actually. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't uh, play much. Okay, I'll take Reason Reef. And, and now I could cast Turak if I want to. Doesn't kill it. Plus we play four, so. Could always draw more. I think I want to play it. Obviously I'm not thrilled about it. Especially since they might just minus three or pick up back Yorian, but I just feel like if I draw land, unless it's exactly Swamp, I can I can I can cast this and I'm still happy. Okay, the minus the fairy, so that's gonna die to attack to wreck. That's the power of the fetch land. <laughs> Just giving you mana fixing perfect. This is the problem that I have in historic with the Arachdos uh, Arcanist. That the mana base sometimes is annoying because you don't have the fetch lands. Oh, I can also get back. Oh, Kroxa. No, but then they just. Yeah, but then they're just ending it. I think. Yeah, the power monster when you have no cards in end is very good. Hmm. Okay, so they're gonna get the sanctifier. Unfortunately, they drew this card. Very annoying. Okay, this is protection from white though, and this is shadow. Okay, so goodbye, Krok says. Wait, what did they do? Oh, Ryan and Six first. Hmm. We have Shizo. Shizo gives uh, Ragavan fear. <laughs> so we can actually dash Ragavan and give it fear next turn. Okay, so they have two cards in hand. I only know ending. Ooh, that's a good draw. But that's I don't I don't think it, it matters. I could, I could still like dash Ragavan, give it fear and attack Ren. My problem is that I'm spending my whole turn just to kill Ren. Yeah, no, I think we should do this. Yeah, I think we should do this. So I attack face and then I go explosives. 
and I crack it immediately. All right, nice. We drew our mono out for the sanctifier. That was good. Okay, what did they do? Three mana, they go back to Orient. No, ending on my season pyromancer. Okay, I now can um, dash. And then play Doughty Void Walker. Yeah. <laughs> Coatl, can't cast it. I'll play Doughty and also play the land. Because yeah, you said it with iteration. We might hit the iteration, then you want all the lands in play. Okay, they fetched. What do they have? Is that Solitude or Fury? Yeah, Fury. Annoying. Nice. Imagine if this was a Nexilis. <laughs> All right, let's go, Ragavan. Yeah, this deck leaves Bite Hop deck very much. Okay, Bolt. All right, I hit a Bolt. Yeah, so you got a four. Yeah, we also have the Den. All right, cool. Uh, these matches are super fast, by the way. My opponent's playing super fast. I love it. <sighs> okay. Right, so... Uh, Obsidian Charma costs five mana. I think it's, I think it's too much. Uh, yeah, the... So Crux is bad, yes, but at the end of the day, you saw what it did, like, <laughs> it discarded them a card, and uh, if they didn't have Sanctifier, it would have came back next turn. Like, you look at the sideboard, what do you want? So we might bring in K Command, but what else do you want? Some some reactive removal spells, maybe, they, they're, they're fine. You wanna, like... I uh, think I don't want a bolt. I don't want the bolt. It's only good against Razor Reef, I think. But we, I think push. Terminate and push, I think, are better. I think I want Terminate because they have Omnath. Which is really. Uh, you have to kill Omnath if, if you don't. They also have Fury and Solitude. So I feel that push might be a little bit clunky at times. Okay, I think I one crooks I wanna keep it in. I don't wanna Oh I don't wanna have zero crooks now. I think this deck like doesn't really use the graveyard, so just having a card with delve is important. Okay. Alright, having Grover and Cairns means that uh all your all your fixing problems are over. Okay, also my opponent fixing problems are over. E once again I go Inquisition first. I don't want to go Ragavan E2, Brandon 6, it's just such a bad, uh, you just lose the game if that happens. Okay. They also have Omnath, this end is good. I think I have to take out Amr Call just because of the Sanctifier. Blue offers you Dress Down to kill Sanctifier. You could also play Pirate Spell Bomb if, you're, if, you, fear, if you fear that card very much. Okay, so I could dash Ragavan here. I could play into their march, so maybe I shouldn't. I can just discard Ragavan to Pyromancer, I think. That's better. Okay, so they drew land. No, okay. I have two rack though, four two rack we play. Yeah, this was such a good draw here because I didn't have that many lands. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, I want to go Pyromancer, discarding land and Ragavan here. Okay. And if I uh, had played the Ragavan, now I would have find myself in a like a weird spot, like either to discard a fourth land or terminate, which I didn't want to do. So you have to think about that when you play a deck with Pyromancer. Like you might not want to force a trade if you think about like you want to discard this card. Okay, so what are they doing now? Nothing. Okay, so they could have the endurance. <laughs> wow, it's a lot of trucks. Okay, I'll fire off a, I'll fire off a Tura here. And the thing is that Turak, while it's legendary, yes, it's also like you can play another one easily and just choose the old one and the and it will get two extra counters. Oh wow, they have Bolt. Come on, they drew so well. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's discard the cards. They have March ending. I aim at discarding Omnath here. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. So they have Mar uh, Omnath plus Fetchland and Yorian, of course. That's the strength of Yorian. It's, you always have it. Now they can go Omnath, draw a card. Fetch land, that's five mana. Well, this one costs eight, so. Thing. I hope they just pick up the Yorian and play another card so that Turak cleans it. Wow, they cycled. So, the, yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. So now. I'm thinking about killing their two creatures here, okay? Yeah, I think I want to do that. So let's begin with um, Liliana here. And then I go terminate. <laughs> fall line. Let's click this first. Okay, and then we attack Ren. They have three cards, and they still have Yorian here. They get back, yeah. So they got back the Ketra Trium and passed. Wow. Okay, let's begin with Turak first, because this will force them into playing a spell if they have it. And then we'll plus Liliana discarding this Blood Crypt. Yeah. So playing Turak first is important because. It forces them to play this spell so that we don't jump attack with the elemental. Discarded land and Teferi. And then I make them... So I know that they have a land in end, I think. Because they have a catch a try, I mean end. Do I want to trade with my Blood Crypt? I think so, because then I can make them sacrifice the uh, Solitude. I can actually discard Turak as well, now that I think about it. Not really though, because next turn my opponent is going to pick up Yorian. Yeah. Plus I don't think I need a 6th land. Oh, Turek gets pumped, that's true. D did you see? And, and now it's super powerful, because it's going to kill Ren. So they have Ren plus Trium, so they will draw a card here. 
and they have Yorin still in the companion zone. And they drew another card. Yeah, I mean, if it wasn't for the Turak, <laughs> this, this matchup is bad, but the four Turak, I mean, that's why you play four. Like, look at the value that this card did. The first one, okay, wow, they ping it with Ren and six. Huh, they drew a bolt, okay. And they attack Liliana, of course, a chump block. And let's see if they get back Yorin or not. They don't get back Yorin. Uh, because they don't want me to discard it. Okay, so uh, I also have Liliana. Uh, so I now exile, sorry, sacrifice this. And then I want to attack with the Den of the Bugbear, the Ren and Six. Okay. This way I leave them in completely Elbent. They have no cards in hand. They still have um, the... They still have the Yorian, but as soon as they draw it, I make a discard in Million's way. They passed. Hmm, unfortunately, I draw top land, so I can't go Kuroksa. So I'll just go to Rack here. Okay. Yeah, to Rack. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, they have one card in end. Another side shit? Okay. Unfortunately, it's just a 2 1 now. Doesn't get extra counters. Okay, they play the land. Let's see if they get back Yorian. They still don't. So their plan is just to cast Yorian when they have um, when they have eight mana. She's a strong plan. So if I go Crooks and flash it back, my opponent takes six. But at the same time, if they draw land, they can go Yorian, blink this, and exile my Necroxa. So I'm thinking instead to attack with Den of the Bugbear. So that I offer the trade, but this way they don't have a solitude in play anymore to blink with Yorian. Might not be a great play, but I think it's fine. They can also just block the token as well. No, they trade. Yeah, but like getting not getting back Yorin was a very good play by them. Okay, so they, they trade here. Not one's playing well. They fetched, so I guess they didn't draw. Hmm, what did they draw? Oh, a land, okay. Wow, they had to take six damage. They should have fetched end of turn, I guess. Okay, so they just play Yorian, blink it to... Yeah. I could have lost this game if we went Crooks, I think. But this is fine now, because they're gonna draw a card with abundant growth end of turn. But we're gonna make a discard. Ooh. Okay. Actually, I don't have mana to um, escape Kroxa now because I lost my land. No, 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 for sure. Oh yeah, this, this game was well played. They have no cards in it once again. And we attack for four. Now Crooks is in the graveyard for the next turn. Okay, looks like they're passing the turn. So they must have drawn a spell, otherwise they they play land because otherwise they make it make a discard and pump the Turak. So I am afraid of Solitude at the moment. So I think I'd rather go uh, Thoughtseize first. Because of Solitude. Oh Bolt they have. Okay. That's fine. I lost two life, doesn't matter. And then I go Kroxa. I had one Kroxa. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I don't think you care about the the leer, the the graveyard in this deck. So they lose four life because they have no cards in hand, and uh, if they break, I win the game. Let's see what they draw now. Ooh, the tap land. Oof, duration. Yes, I win. Woof. Yeah, this was a good game. It, yeah, I mean, it showed the power very much of uh, the the Turak in this match. Yeah, Lil <laughs> Liliana knows knows well. Yeah, we discarded. Uh, the cards we kill the creature it's just honestly just discarding and killing stuff is this deck theme so Liliana fits it perfectly like you play it I mean a bright Chandra it's just an another value planeswalker I guess that does uh, so Liliana it's not great when your opponent is in top deck mode whereas Chandra is great in the same scenario so having a split i think it's good because chandra is a card advantage engine and a removal spell so it's like liliana but the plus one draws your card so i think it's just to diversify like also having like different play it's like when in in standard you have soaring and the wandering emperor it's just to diversify because you might draw them together and you put them into play together okay and another match let's go Hand is not exciting, but that's okay. We have Pyromancer to fix it. Okay, the mulligan to six. No, but the um, the match the match was close. Like the we we defeated the, the Sanctifarin back with that explosives. All right, let's go. Thought sees for swamp. All right, we are ooh one land. You see, we 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 don't have these problems today. Today, no mana screw. <laughs> okay, so we have to take a creature. I have dreadboard, so I don't think I want to. I care about the Merc tide. What if we take a counter spell or or arc mage's charm? One of these two. I think it's counter spell. <laughs> okay uh let me quickly check if i have a third blood crypt okay i do so i'm gonna play a fetch land and grab a blood crypt you want to fill the graveyard for Grixa. okay they drew an island I'll for sure discard this polluted delta because I only have one uh, one land left to grab, and I'll discard a blood crypt. Yep, a lot of lands. Takenuma can get back season pyromancer next turn. Okay, if you land iteration, but they exiled channeler and they don't have a land, okay? So they just uh, didn't see a land with that one. Hmm. Maybe we should just go Liliana now. We discarded Merc Tide. Okay, they drew a land. They have Archmage's Charm and Bolt, but Liliana is in four, so it doesn't die to Bolt. Draw. Whoa. They have Archmage's Charm. Yeah. Yeah, so first I want a plus one. I think I'll discard Dreadbore. Because I have Liliana to kill a creature.
Even if Drebor kills the Merc Tide. Is that a bolt? Okay, I think I'm gonna go to Rack so that they have to counter instead of drawing cards. Okay. Yeah, Turak's so good. <laughs> and then I don't play this land. Okay, they have Counterspell. So they have Charm and Counterspell. Yeah, Iteration obviously counters uh, our plan. It's definitely number one enemy of the deck, this card. Exile the land. Let's see. Is that Ragavan dashed? Could also be a Merc Tide, because then I have to minus two Liliana and then I can bolt it. Okay, draw. Shizo. Well, for sure I have to minus. And I think I'll just use Takenuma. To return uh, to Rack. Okay, they drew two cards main phase. They have four cards. It's funny how we discarded so many cards of them. They still have four cards. <laughs> Three cards. Yeah, Liliana is just controlling the board right now. Like all the Merc Tides and... Okay, wow, they cast Ragavan with two cards in end. That's perfect. No, 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 end of turn. Oh yeah, they cast Ragavan, yes. I, I don't know why they... Okay, so I get back to Iraq. Draw. Oh, nice. And then I cast this. Make them discard the last two cards. I guess they have Walk Consider. They had Consider and Merc Tide. Yeah, wow. And then I push Ragavan and plus one Liliana. Boom. <laughs> nope, nothing left. Yeah, nothing left. Sure. Bubble is actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a weird sequencing. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. Okay. We can be three. Yeah, we can be three to reach. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah. The Takenuma was great. So they exiled Dark Mage's Charm. That means nothing. And then they draw a card in my turn. So they, they have two cards in end. Yeah, I'm gonna bolt you. And then plus one Liliana. That pumps the Merc, the, the, the Turek. So they go to six. It's legendary, so it's gonna get feared. They can't jump block it next turn. Okay, they, they had the Noli Heat, so they killed the Turek. All right, uh, I have to plus this. Let's see what they have. They have one card in end. It was a counter spell. That's fine. I have the Season Pyromancer tokens now. Okay, they have a land, perfect. So, we can minus Liliana, but I don't want to. I don't care about killing two lands, or three lands. I'd rather have a Planeswalker that plays around the top deck uh, Merc that Regent. Okay, now I think I'll, I'll No, I think I'll keep on plussing, because if they draw Merc tight, it's bad. And I don't want to play around uh, Ragavan, attack with both, because they're in two life. Yeah, <laughs> funny. Okay. So they drew Ragavan, they attack me, let's see what they flip. Totsies, okay, they die. All right, this was a long, long match, a <laughs> long, long game, huh? <laughs> but once again, they proved the, I don't know, the power 
the, the prove the power of Turek. Honestly, this deck is kind of carried hard by Turek so far. What? Oh, Dotty Void Walker? Yeah, we never drew it. Yeah. I mean, the problem of Dotty Void Walker to me, that's why I don't love this card, is that in the matchups like this, they just kill it. And you're trading one for one. But you're spending more mana, you're playing sorcery speed, you know? It's good in the matchups where it doesn't die. Okay. Uh, do we want to try this Itazugu card? Maybe. Destroy the one drops, exile the graveyard. I think it's fine. I, I usually Ragavan dies all the time, so. Okay, so we can't cut Crooks up for it. No, but cause this card exiles the graveyards. Maybe I can keep it one Crooks out. You never want to take out all the Crookses. I don't think I want more Turak. I think two is enough. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Maybe we just only bring in two Idazugu. That's enough. Okay. Yeah, I think I think I like this. So maybe Chandra also wasn't the worst. Okay. All right, we have the Dolphy now. Let's start with uh, some thought season. Uh, I think I'm, I'm fine in getting a swamp here. You see how I consistently don't play Ragavan with this deck on turn one. It's it's more of a it's more of a reactive deck maybe. Oh, spell pierce. Okay, sure. Then the use of Merc Tide, so. Okay, I don't want to go Doughty now because then they just kill it. Easy. So, I once again want to Thought Seize. Sure. And now I go Ragavan. It's double spell. Mm, they can steal it. They can steal the Ragavan, I guess. Hmm. I didn't think about this. That's bad. That's bad now. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have done this. Hmm. Let's see what they flip. Okay, they flipped Idazugu. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, the one, two, three <laughs> was good. Yeah, it's it's fine. It's fine. We we're gonna be carried hard by Turek again. I feel it. Okay, they exiled. What did they exile? Oh, bubble. And they play another iteration. Huh, maybe they don't have a removal spell for the Dotty Void Walker. Wow, they didn't find land? They still have to. Wow, they didn't find land in the top six cards. Okay. So we're on top with Void Walker. Now, with Void Walker, we can cast Iteration. Maybe I just wanted to rack first, okay? Yeah, but then iteration is not great anymore. I can just attack as well with the Turak. Okay, you know what I do? I play Turak first, hope to hit a removal spell, and then uh, kill the Ragavan. 
not. We'll see. What did I take? Consider and Merktide. Okay, obviously... I guess I can play the... Oh, no, I can't play a creature in my opponent's turn, of course. With Dothi. Yeah, I do. No, I'm thinking about what to do with Dothi, because obviously the... It being in play means that they can't crack all these bubbles. So if they crack bubbles now, they get exiled, so the Merktide is small. Maybe just attack. Yeah. Maybe we should have just t cashed it in for a deterioration. Okay, so they cracked all the bubble. Yeah, the graveyard hate has been has been real here. But I assume now the my opponent will find a lightning bolt for Chirac and attack with Ragavan. Although I guess Anoli Heat doesn't work. Ooh, Dabber of Secrets. Yeah, I guess doesn't play Ragavan. Yeah, they find Bolt. Oh, they find Bolt for Dalti though. Oh, double Bolt. Oh, come on. Okay. So it only has one card in end. And they flipped Lilian of the Veil, okay. I, I want another saga. I want the Idazugu saga. Okay, they have no cards in end. They have zero cards in end. Come on, Idazugu saga, we win. Boom. No. Okay. Um, that's fine. I can cast my hand here. I don't even need to fetch. Because of Urborg. Now, my opponent, uh, I'm on 13 and they have no cards in hand. Ragavan is stopped. A Delver. Let's see if it flips. Let's see if it flips. It doesn't flip. That's good. That's very good. Wow. This attack. So, I could just eat the Delver here. And, uh, what if we just block like this? Huh? You wanna, because if I block this, it dies. Like, whereas if I block Ragavan, it's a trade. Obviously, though, Ragavan can get. A spell from my deck, but it can also break. That's the uncertainty of Ragon. I think I'll do this. At the end, there's a lot of double black cards that I can't cast, and even if I find like a Thoughtseize, it's like not the end of the world. I think I just want to kill Delver for free. Let's see what they hit. They hit Pyromancer. Yep. <laughs> I think it was like the, the classic like Ragavan Gamble. Ooh, maybe my opponent bubbled me and they knew I had the Season Pyromancer on top. Let me check, who did you target with bubble? Oh yeah. No, but they did it in upkeep. Okay, no, they didn't know my top of the deck. All right. Okay, we're back to this game now where my opponent played Pyromancer, discarded Land and Ragavan, made one token and then played Pyro Chandler. They have one card in end. Okay. More Ray, let's go. Inquisition, that's a good draw. Um, I think I want to play Inquisition first. Then I want to, so I can catch this chat, this Voidwalker for a rag. I kind of want to just go Dotty Voidwalker here and just attack with with Shadow. What do you think? Huh? Yeah, just um, attack. 
not care about the second ability. I keep the Bloodstained Mire untapped because I can pop fit up, push a three drop if I want to. So they play both Delver and Ragavan. That's strange. They drew Eater Rage. Oh, I don't know if it. Yeah, they drew it because they didn't have it. Okay. That's fine. They can't get Delirium though. They have to look for removal spells for my Dalthys. Yeah, it's now not going very well, I would say. Yeah, they exiled No Eat. Yep, yep, yep. So you exile my Anoli, uh, my sorry, you Anoli hit my. Sh oh, you Anoli hit the Pyromancer. Huh. Wow. Okay. Now I kill the Ragavan. Or right, this is the. Okay. So now I kill the Ragavan. And I take four. I don't want to fetch a Nocturne because this is a Swamp and I have Urborg. And I don't want to take one damage. One damage might matter. Because look at this. I'm on seven. Next turn, this is five damage. Because remember. Okay, wow. They exile old graveyards. I want to get rid of this. This is a way to shut off the ability to draw Merc Tide. Okay, so they have one card in hand that they didn't know. There's a surveil to the graveyard. They draw Lightning Bolt. Okay. Okay, so now we have. Um, we have a couple of plays, right? Because we can just attack with all, put you to three, and then both of these threats are lethal. You cannot get Delirium. And uh, I guess I die to a Ragavan Dashed and a Lightning Bolt. But you already drew three iteration and you're in quote unquote top deck mode. So what do you think if we just attack and pass? Yep. No. Yeah, to play iterations. Yeah, I agree. I'll play the land. Yeah. The Dotty Wood Walker that I said, uh, they weren't very good there carrying this game. Nice. All right. A good, uh, a good 2-0, huh?